With all this performance testing that I've been doing lately, I decided to test out performance of Unreal Blueprints and how is it compared to Unity's visual scripting. So I recreated the tests that I did for Unity in Blueprints and here are the results. For an empty for loop, you can see that Unreal Engine Blueprints is actually five times faster than visual scripting, but it's still almost a hundred times slower than a for loop in C Sharp. But let's not just take a look at this results. Let's go on to the addition and multiplication. And for this one, it's almost 10 times faster than Unity's visual scripting. So that's probably because the input values for the nodes are more efficient than the inputs for visual scripting. So if we take a look at the rest of the result, we can see the same picture. So most of the things are five to 10 times faster than in visual scripting. The poly noise and random are significantly slower in Unity visual scripting. And I mentioned this in previous videos, it's probably because they are using call to C sharp for these parallel noise and random numbers. And that is a very slow in visual scripting. So we don't see that problem in blueprints, but still for parallel and random numbers, it's around 10 times slower than making it in C sharp. So that is probably also because how the values are actually passed to the nodes and how they're retrieved. Now, to be honest, I thought that Unreal Blueprints were going to be actually much faster than the result that I got. I thought that they're going to be closer to what we get for C Sharp, maybe twice slower, but not the numbers that I got here. It is faster than Unity Visual Scripting, so Unity has room to improve with their visual scripting, but C Sharp and C++ are still significantly faster than the visual scripting solutions that we have. So if performance is very important for the type of a game you're making, if you'll have a lot of characters in your game that will do a whole bunch of different things, it will be easier to get maximum performance with using C Sharp and C++. Like always, if you found this video useful, be sure to click on that like button and I'll see you in the next one.